is News 4, watching out for you. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Savard. Samantha has the night off. The complaints are still coming in. A Metro car dealer accused of selling clunkers, charging customers hundreds in repairs, and at times repossessing them without cause. News 4 Investigates has been looking into pay later auto sales for nearly a year. Tonight, we're asking the state of Illinois where their investigation stands as others come forward saying they've now been victimized. Only News 4's Ashley Lincoln is live detailing new developments in the case and new information about the owner. Well, Steve, I've been getting a number of complaints from customers who tell us that they feel that they've been taken advantage of by pay later. Now, we did check with the state of Illinois. They tell us that their investigation is still ongoing. However, they are urging those individuals who say that they've been taken advantage of to file a report with them. It broke down. Octavia Douglas is one of several customers who claim to have been conned by the owner of pay later auto sales, Stephen Foltz. I spent just a thousand. She says days after purchasing her car from the Cahokia dealership, it died. Could they do anything to fix it? They didn't even want to come pick it up. They was like, matter of fact, that's, this car probably just going to be your problem. Dozens of pay later customers have called News 4 with similar stories, alleging the owners are selling defective vehicles, failing to offer refunds, refusing to fix repairs, and holding cars for ransom that were wrongly repossessed. This woman told News 4 her car was stolen by pay later employees after she spent thousands of her own money in repairs. They stole the car before the car note is due. Given News 4's investigation began almost a year ago, I asked again the Illinois Attorney General's office where their probe stands. They started investigating pay later after News 4 brought consumer concerns to their office. Right now, all they'll say is that they're asking new victims to come forward. I tried reaching out to pay later again over the phone and got this. <laughs> When we first reported on these issues, the owner refused to speak with us. It's an office. We can't go in the office to speak to an owner? Yeah. Is there an owner that can speak to us? And last fall, folks refused to answer my questions over the phone. Are you saying you're, you're not willing to answer any of my questions right now? We're trying to get in contact with the owner to pay later. Wednesday, I found relatives of Stephen Foltz owns a car dealership across the street from pay later. His family says they own several dealerships along Kemp Jackson Road, but they say Foltz is estranged from the family. They say since he took over pay later as owner, it's been downhill. I feel like they should be put out of business. Octavia Douglas, like many pay later victims, say they hope the state holds him accountable. I'm really hoping that they get held accountable for their actions. And we found a large number of the victims live here in Missouri. Now we have looped in the Missouri Attorney General's office in this matter to see if they have any legal standing to investigate. A spokesperson tells me that they are looking into the situation. A spokesperson tells me that they are looking into the situation. We will let you know once we get that information. We also did check with the St. Clair County's assessor office. We did find that that owner owes more than $3,000 on that property in taxes. Of course, Steve, this is a story that we will continue to follow. All right, Ashley Lincoln reporting live tonight from downtown. New tonight, the Kirkwood School District is facing a federal lawsuit filed by a former student.